Have you ever seen a detective on a crime TV show use DNA analysis to link a culprit to a crime? This technology is based on gel electrophoresis, which uses electricity to separate macromolecules based on size. Today, we'll show you how to make and use your own gel electrophoresis apparatus. Here's all you need. To make our gel, we'll need a small rectangular plastic box. We'll also need agarose powder combined with water measured in a graduated cylinder. Instead of DNA, our samples to be put in the gel will be food coloring. Make sure to have at least two primary colors in a secondary color, like green, orange, or purple, to be separated with electricity. Our power source for this electrophoresis will be five 9-volt batteries. The power will be added to the rectangular box in the form of two electrodes placed at either ends of the rectangle made out of stainless steel wire. We'll also need alligator clips with leads to connect our batteries to the electrodes. And finally, we'll need some baking soda to be mixed with water in a buffer solution to run our gel. Add 200 milliliters of bottled water, measured using a graduated cylinder. Then, add 2 grams, or about 1 half teaspoon, of sodium bicarbonate, or baking soda. Mix everything together, and you're ready to go. Combine 100 milliliters of your buffer solution with about 1 quarter teaspoon of agarose powder and microwave. Carefully pour the hot agarose solution into a container with your 3-well comb placed about 1 centimeter from the end. Now that the gel has had time to set for about an hour and a half, remove the comb. Using a butter knife, cut a space at each end, and make room for the electrodes. Insert the electrodes with the leads coming out on the same sides so that you can easily attach the power source. Now pour in the buffer solution, which is made of sodium bicarbonate and water. Pour in just enough to cover the gel. Carefully add a few drops of food coloring to each well, making sure to place the nozzle below the surface of the buffer solution. First we'll add some green, then red, then blue food dye. Don't worry if the food dye starts to mix in the buffer solution. So long as the drops go into the wells, everything should work just fine. Over the next 45 minutes, the electric current traveling through the gel will help us separate the dyes into their constituent macromolecular components. Because the macromolecules are different sizes, they travel at different speeds, resulting in visible separation into various colors. So, how does all of this relate to DNA? As you can see here in our gel, different colored food dyes separated into different colors after the gel electrophoresis was run. The same process will happen with DNA. Different DNA samples will look different at the end of a gel electrophoresis. This is because a DNA sample may contain fragments of different sizes, just as these dyes contain macromolecules of different sizes. When they're pulled through an agarose gel with electricity, the results are different because different molecules travel at different speeds. So, do you want to try this project idea for yourself? For more guidelines on developing this experiment into a full science fair project, follow the link to sciencebuddies.org. You'll find all you need to know about variables, data collection, and even other cool project ideas. Thanks for watching.